Welcome to the one and only Dwight the Janitor Podcast. In this podcast, Dwight wants to do a little science experiment. If you project yourself as an authoritative figure, how far can you actually push someone? You're going to find out in this podcast that Dwight is a convincing motherfucker. Enjoy yourself and mm, fuck yeah. I help you. Uh, good morning. This is Dwight calling from the. Uh, is this location? Yes, sir. Okay, fantastic. Listen, I'm calling regarding a customer complaint uh, earlier in the night regarding the quality of their eggs that were served to them. Okay. And from what they were telling me is they believe that the eggs that were served to them were uh, out of date. And possibly, uh, possibly bad, because uh, they're complaining about stomach cramps and uh, excessive vomiting. Um, and they said they they kind of smelled rancid uh, as they were eating them. Um, can I ask you about what time they were in here? Uh, they said they were in approximately eight thirty. And I've already called Bill, uh, who is your owner, uh, to address this with him. Okay. I and mean, I, I have my uh, my assistant manager is sitting here if you'd like to speak to her. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let me go ahead and talk to her. All right, because I, I really don't know what to say, so okay, I'll let you sure. speak to her, okay? Yeah, no problem. That's her job. Thank you. This is How may I help you? Hi, you say your name's Chris. Yes, sir. Hi, Chris. This is Dwight. I'm calling from the corporate office here in... Uh, we uh-huh. had a, an issue uh, regarding uh, a customer complaint. Uh, I went ahead and phoned a bit about this issue, and uh-huh. he told me to go ahead and give you guys a call. And what's happening is, uh, apparently, uh, a customer was in approximately 8.30 in the p.m. Uh, and complained about the quality of the eggs that were used. Uh, they said they could possibly be out of date... Uh, because they had a rancid smell to them uh, as they were eating them, and they didn't feel like causing a scene in the restaurant, so they waited till they got home uh, to give us a call so we can address this. this you said it was our eggs? Yes, that's correct. Um, our truck just came in today. Right, and, 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 and that's, what we, that's what we have to address is uh, here at Quality Control, we need to make sure that those eggs are fresh. Did you see what the date is on those? Um, um, does anybody know where the box for the eggs are? Or has it already been broken down? Okay. Um, our unit manager, T- will be in here at 6 a.m., and he mm-hmm. would know. I haven't. Se- I, I came in at 2 and right. I actually just got called back in there to help bail them out for something tonight. So okay. Um, but so you know, have you had any have on. you had any other complaints uh, regarding no, the eggs? No, not had. No, sir, none. Okay, um, because if if this is a if this is a product that is actually still within date and it's a bad uh, a bad product, we're obviously not going to be paying for this product, and we're going to have to send it back. Exactly. Um, like the. T- be in here about six in the morning. Okay. Well, like I said, I talked to um, you know the owner of the restaurant, and he told me that I could do a quality check over the phone. He said someone would be able to assist me at this time, uh, so we can. I don't have the key to. Yeah, I don't have a key to the commissary to look to see what time the the dates are, what the dates are on the box. No, 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 no. That's fine. All I'm going to need is a couple of the eggs that actually came in today, uh, that were in that batch. All right. Um. <coughs> So what I'll need you to do, because we're going to do a couple of tests right here on the phone, uh, I'll need you to grab four. And, I need four eggs. Mm-hmm, and if you can grab a glass of cold water. And a glass of cold water, he says.
I need two more eggs left. Go grab me two, please. Thank you. All right. Okay. And the first test we're going to do is I need you just to take the whole egg, gently drop it into the glass of water, and tell me if it floats or sinks. It sinks. Sinking. Okay, that's very good. All right, you can go ahead and pull that one out of the water. All right. Now what I need you to do is take that egg and actually crack it and drop the yolk and the whites into the water and let me know if they stay together or separate. All right. All the eggs are just... No, no, just the one, just the one. The one that I already dropped in there? That's correct. Okay. Nothing separated and it's all gone down to the bottom. All gone all together, correct? All together, yep. Okay, fantastic. Uh what I'm gonna have you do now, uh is we'll have you uh, do you have a microwave there at this location? No, we don't. No microwave. Okay, what I need to have happen is on the uh, flat top grill, uh, mm -hmm. what I need you to do is take one egg, and mm -hmm. I need you to uh, hold it approximately two and a half to three feet above the actual flat top and drop it, and I need to know if there's a bounce or if it just cracks and falls onto the flat top. Okay. And before we go any further, does anybody have a uh, camera phone where I can have uh, visual evidence of that emailed to me here at Quality Control? Um, Brittany, do you have um, your camera? Is your phone working? Your camera working on your phone? You got enough battery? All right. Because I just need to, I just need photos of all this uh, before we discard it, so I can submit it to Quality Control. Uh, right, to let I them know that I addressed it. This cup with the egg in it, for one. Yep. This is for quality control for corporate, because we've had a complaint on our eggs, and we got to make sure that they're correct. Uh -oh. All right. And then I need you to... You said two and a half feet? Yeah, but let's, let's, go, let's, go ahead and, let's go ahead and take a picture of the uh, egg in the water real quick. All right, we'll have to get another one real quick. Yeah, well, let's duplicate the issue because I'm, I'm first. Let me have you put one egg in there so I can see the float test to make sure that it's still it sank to the yeah, bottom. Cup of water, cold water. Mhm. Mm and I'll need a picture of that showing that uh, it either sank or is floating. Does it have to be that full? You can pour some of that because I dropped. No, no, no. Uh, halfway is fine. I need you to take a picture of that cup with the egg in it. Right. After you've you know, put it in there, it shows if it's floating or if it has sank. Take a picture of that. Okay. And then we'll have to duplicate also cracking the egg, dropping it into the water to show that it all went to the bottom. It didn't separate. I'll need a photo of that. All right. Take this, pour a little bit of this out. I've got to reduplicate that. So i got to have you taking a picture of me. Cracking the egg in there. And again, these can be pictures or you can do video. Either one, I don't know what uh, you have there. That's enough water. Yeah. I'll take pictures of him cracking the egg and then of it going down and sinking all together. There you go. Now the other one, he said you're going to drop. You, you might want to try to video it if you can. Oh, you can't video. Show him holding the egg two and a half feet, three feet above the grill, and drop the whole egg, and then let her take a picture. Yep, and I need to. I need a report if it bounced or if it just uh, landed. And no, it cracked. Okay. It cracked on the grill. And I need a picture of that on the grill also. Okay, he, but she got that. Okay. All right. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. I had a. We got a little bit of a cold, so I gotta. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, 
excuse me, who, I apologize. And the uh, next test we have to do uh-huh. is, uh, oh, excuse me, uh, do you have, because we have to test the acidity of the egg, do you have approximately five pennies to drop into a cup as well? And then what we're going to do, and then we're going to crack the egg and drop it into the cup. Okay. So we're going to, now I've got two eggs right here in two cups because we redid one. Okay. Yeah, no, this needs to be in a new cup. It can't be reused in the other one. It'll taint the test. Okay. All right. I need another cup of water. Cold water? Cold water. Halfway? Yep. Halfway is fine. Halfway is fine. All right. Okay. And what you'll do is you'll drop the pennies in first. All right. I need you to take a picture of the pennies coming in this cup. Mm Mm-hmm. All right. And then what we need to do after the pennies sit in there for approximately 30 seconds is then crack the next egg and drop it inside and I need to know if there's any bubbles or discoloration. And I'll need a picture of that also. All right. Will you crack this egg, show cracking it, and go ahead and drop it down in there, please. And take pictures of it. And I need to know if it bubbles. She's... And after we complete these tests, oh. I'll give you the email address to send the photos to. Okay. There's a couple little bubbles at the top, and I still see some bubbles just a little bit, but not much. Okay, no it, it, it's it's not like it's uh, rapid bubbles or boiling? No, okay. not rapid bubbles. I mean, just like something's just sitting at the top. Okay. And you have photos of this, correct? Uh-huh. Okay. And what we're going to do is with the last egg, uh, again, we did the drop uh, on the grill, which is a heated surface. And now what we have to do, uh, <clears throat> because the... We need a cold surface to drop this on. Uh, And I know at this point, uh, nothing in the kitchen because of the heat from the grills and, of course, the the griddles and whatnot is going to be cold enough. What I need to have happen is do you have a window uh, close by uh, that is away from customers? Of course, we don't want customers to be... um, No, there's actually nobody in the store right now. Okay. What I I need is to have a picture of a... Uh, employee that's going to perform the test uh, hold up the last uh-huh. egg. I need a uh-huh. picture. I need a picture of him holding it so I can see that. Okay. And then what I need him to do is stand approximately, uh, approximately six to seven feet away, and I need them to uh-huh. throw it at a a window that joins with the outside because we're going to have the temperature from the outside coming in, which will cool the glass. And I need a picture of it after it's hit the glass. I need to see the radius of the spread. And I need to know if the yolk, the yellow part itself, has split or stayed whole. I'm supposed to throw this out a window? Well, it's either you or the employee. I'm not sure who you're having run the test. But I need to know, because with the cooled surface, if the yolk itself has split or stayed whole. And I need a photo of that. It's not that big of a deal because we got Windex to clean up all the windows and whatnot. All right. Does it need to be a window outside or a window from a pie case? Will that be good? No, no. You can do it inside, but it has to be a window that joins the outside. Oh. So probably right out in the dining area, or if you prefer to go outside and do it, you could do that also. Okay. Um. All right. Well, we're going to use your camera for the rest of it since hers is dying. Okay. And let me give you the email address so she can go ahead and send the ones that she has uh, before her. All right. I need to go ahead and give you a win- email address, Brittany, for you to send those to. Before those, before her camera dies. Uh, it <laughs> is. Okay. Mm-mm, you can go ahead and get rid of those. And she can go ahead and send those before her phone dies. I would appreciate it. Okay. And if we can go ahead I need and get her to send those pictures to that email address. And if we can perform the last test, and uh, we should be set for the okay. night. 
Alright. She's gonna send them to one person. Alright. So Alright, apparently, I gotta get a picture of who's ever going to throw this egg. Standing, how far away from the door did you say, every window? Five to six feet. And please, six and please feet only have them throw... On the Side. Only have them throw uh, 50 to 75 percent. I don't need full speed because that's going to skew the test. I got to have a picture of you before you throw it, as you're throwing it, and when it hits, and when the egg hits the window. And I got to know see what the what end it does. And then you guys get to clean up the lovely and, egg. And, and, please, and please tell him uh, 50 to 75 percent, or else it'll skew the speed if he goes full throw. Hold enough, it'll stick. I'm mm-hmm. sorry, you're going to have to repeat that. I had three yeah. people talking Oh, to no, my- no, yeah, that's fine. Uh, only have him throw it 50 to 75 percent of his strength. Don't throw it uh, at full strength because it'll skew the test. Yeah, don't throw it at full strength if you're going to crack the window. You got, they're going to throw it at the inside part, right? Yeah, that's fine. Inside or outside? That's fine. Because inside the building. If you, if you do it inside, uh, we still have the uh, the cold right. from he, outside. Actually, Wes is going to videotape Brittany doing this. Okay. Yeah, video. Yes, fine. and I got to find out. I'm trying to watch now. Yeah, move the chair. Is that five or six feet, or is that further? That looks further to me. Yeah. If he needs There's to stand, better judge if, of distance than I am. If he needs to stand back further, that's fine. I don't want this to get on anybody. All right, so she's supposed to throw it at the window, and we're supposed to get... Yeah, if he's going to do video, that's fine. If if they want to video uh, the person doing it as it's happening, and then just, I need a, uh, you need them to approach the window. I need to see the radius, if the yolk separated or not, and then where the egg actually finally rested. And uh, you'll send it to the same email address. Okay, Wes, as soon as she throws it, I need you to email to get Wes. Listen, before she throws it, as soon as she throws it, I need you to be on the window to see if it splits or not, and get it as it goes down the window. And you say, he, you say he's going to video this? Yes, he's going to okay. video this one. Fantastic. And then when you're done, you're going to send it to the email address that I gave her. It's a toss with about, how much strength did you say? 50 to 75%. It's actually a throw, not a toss. You know, overhand. It's but actually a throw. She says a throw, not a really toss, about 50%. This is the last one. Why she can put those other two eggs up? No. Timmy will notice him because he's going to be told about it being quality control. Mm-hmm. All right, Brittany. Okay, it did separate and it slid on down. Oh, it separated. Okay. Uh, no, that's fantastic. If I it, think if if it was expired, it would have stayed all together, and uh, would have actually been in a clump. So uh, everything seems to have uh, passed. Uh, everything looks good. Um, I'll just need that video and those pictures sent to that email address so I can send it out. Yes, sir. We're happy to help. Hey, how you doing? This is Richard Flam calling from the corporate. I'm sorry, the corporate office here in. How are you? Fine, and you? <laughs> uh, not too bad. Listen, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a little bit of a, a cold here. Um, did Les give you guys a call and let you know uh, that we had discussed some issues earlier about a corporate uh, complaint? Um, no. Uh-uh. See, I've oh. been off since. I was off all weekend. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, what had happened is uh, somebody came in earlier in the night and uh, there was an issue uh, with the eggs, apparently. They said there was kind of a an off smell to them. They didn't taste right. And so he called corporate and lodged a complaint. I gave Les a call and uh, let him know. And he said uh, for me to call around this time so we can do a uh, quality control check on the eggs that are currently on the floor. Um, the eggs are, are, yeah, they're in the cooler. Right. But you have yeah. some out for business currently, right? No, we don't. Okay. Do you know what the date is on the eggs that are currently in the cooler? I know it's a little, it's a tough question because they're usually broken down by now. 
Yeah. Um, I can look. Hold on a minute. Okay. No, I, there's no date on them, hon. No date. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to go ahead and do some quality control checks. Uh, do you have the time, or are you rather busy? No, I have the time. All right, fantastic. What do I have you do? Go ahead and retrieve me uh, six of those eggs and uh, come on back to the phone. Okay. Okay. All right, fantastic. And uh, let me ask you this also, because I forgot to ask Les. When was the last time an extermination company was in there to spray for bugs? I, I couldn't tell you. You couldn't tell you? Because it's, it's a mandate. They're supposed to be in every three months. Uh, to spray for mm -hmm. roaches, because uh, our locations seem to have an attraction with roaches, and it's very disturbing. Yeah. Um, I, I couldn't tell you. You'd have to talk to Jesse about that. Our okay. Boss. All right. Uh, so let me go ahead and let me have you do this. Um, now, do you have a male employee uh, currently? Yeah. Okay. Uh, does yeah, anybody so. have yeah. a uh, one of the smartphones with a camera? Uh, because we do need to document this and have the uh, pictures emailed over so we can send them to the quality control to confirm that we've addressed this. Okay. Um, yeah, hold on. Let me get them. Sure. Okay. All right. And, uh, again, does somebody have one of the camera phones where they can take pictures? Yeah. You're, yes. Okay. Uh, go ahead, and what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, – was his name? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and give him one of the eggs. He will hold this in his hand, and I will need a picture of him holding the egg. And then what I'm going to have him do is we're going to check the shell density. And what I'm going to have him do is squeeze the egg until he's able to crack it. And, you know, of course, the yolk the yolk's going to come out. And I need a picture of that as well as a report from him on how much pressure he had to put on that egg from 0% to 100%. Okay. All right. I got to take a picture of you. Hold, hold the egg. How do you take a picture on your phone? I don't know. Okay. All right. Now, what do I do? Just snap it? What do I press? Okay, that one. I'm ready. Okay. Just take it. Right here. Okay. All right, did that do it? I don't know how to do it. That one, okay. Hmm? All right. <laughs> what? Did it take a picture? Yeah, about several of them. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, now, then you're supposed to stand there and squeeze it. That is a horrible picture. Okay. 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 That one's done. Okay. Fantastic. You can discard that egg. And uh, what we're going to do next is a um, <clears throat> it's a float test. Uh, it's an acidic float test. So what we need is a glass of orange juice filled halfway. And we need a fresh egg. One of these that I have out. Correct. One of the ones you've already retrieved. Okay. All right. Get a glass of orange juice half full. You need to talk to All right. All right. We do that. Okay. Now take an egg and put it in the orange well, juice. Right, but, but we need we need a picture of the egg uh, being suspended above the glass of orange juice and a picture taken there. And then we need a picture of the egg in the actual orange juice. And you need to let me know if there's any bubbles uh, that end up floating to the top once the egg is put in. And let me know also if the egg sank or if it uh, is floating. Okay. Bubbles were coming up and it sank. It sank? Okay, that's good because if it did float, that means there would have been air inside of the egg, uh, which would have made it float. Uh, so that checks off as a good egg. Uh, you, you can actually go ahead and discard you can discard everything that's there. Okay. And then when you come back to the phone, I'll, we'll proceed with uh, uh, number three. Okay, he's already he's gotten rid of it. He's gotten rid of it. Fantastic. 
and what we have to do next, uh, do you have a clear area uh, where there's not a lot of tra uh, foot traffic? Yeah. Okay. What we need to do now, uh, you don't happen to have a scale, do you? No. No scale, yeah. We're going to have to go ahead and we're going to have to do the, the gravity drop. Most locations have a scale, uh, but occasionally we run into some that don't. Uh, we need to go into an area where there's low foot traffic. And what I'm going to have you do is hold the egg at approximately, um, basically eye level. Uh, I'll need a picture of that. And then just a straight drop to the ground. And I'll need a pic picture of that. Uh, and then what that's going to do, and I need you to count from 1-1000 1, 1, until the egg actually hits the ground. I need a report on how long it took so I could punch it into the uh, equation. And that way I can calculate how much approximately the egg weighs. Okay. It took about a second and a half. Second and a half. So can we punch this in? Okay. 1.5 times pi divided by 3.619 uh, times 98.6. The mouse. Hi, Mac. Okay, yeah, no, that's that's that egg uh, as well is checking out. All right, you can go ahead and discard that. You got uh, all the pictures involved with that one, correct? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Uh, the next egg will have. Can you hold on, I got a cut. No problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's next? Okay, uh, and what we're going to do next is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, we need to check the, uh, basically we're going to go back to the flat top grill and we're going to have a picture of him holding the egg uh, approximately three three feet, two and a half, three feet above the flat top grill. And he's going to drop it straight down. And what we need to do is we need to see if the actual egg itself, the shell, uh, if it cracks up to 75% or less. And I need a report on that. And so that way it's going to tell me again the density of the actual shell. Okay. And I need again. I need a picture of him holding it above the grill. I need a picture of it as it has landed on the grill, and then that egg can be discarded. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, about a third of it. You can throw it away. About, about a, third. a third. So thirty-three percent. No, that's yeah. Every, everything's checking out. I don't. I'm not sure why uh, these complaints were made. All right. Let's see here. Actually, I think that's gonna that's actually gonna conclude everything. I think I had you retrieve one too or a couple too many eggs. Okay. Um, so you can put those back, okay. and uh, I'll give you the email address. Uh, you can write it down and go ahead and uh, send that on over. Okay. Email address. Okay. Uh, here, talk to him about. I'm gonna sure. request. Mhm. Mm All right. What is it? Yep. The email address is. All right. Well, I'll send it off and call me and let me know. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to read it back, double check again real quick. Yes. Okay. Yeah. If you want to go ahead and just rifle those over here, uh, and I'll give you a call back in uh, about 10 minutes just to confirm that we got them. All right. Thank you. Yep. You have yourself a good night. All right. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, sir, I got a real hell of a problem over here. Um, I was in there earlier with my son, and we got some waffles. And when my son cut into his waffle, it was like somebody took part of the batter out, and it was nothing but air in the center, like big air pockets. All right. Um, well, I mean, what I can do is, like, take your name down, and then next time you come in, we can replace the waffle for you if you want to come by. Okay, but is this an, a normal practice? You usually just, just inject abnormal amounts of air into the waffles? No, like it must have just been like a something like wrong with the bat. Like either maybe something like didn't get mixed properly. I don't know. Like yeah, some, it, it they have, like, like, maybe didn't stir it well enough and there's some of that powder, the powder, powder, powder still in there. Yeah, uh, that would have caused it. It looked like somebody re like literally like took some air once it was in the griddle and then just injected air inside of it and then sucked out the batter. Yeah, I mean, no one, like, we, 
No one would have, like, honestly taken the time to do something like that, though. Mm -hmm. I, it would have been, it just must have been an accident. Like, some, they, they just pour the batter onto the pat, onto the waffle iron, and that's, and then they let it cook, and that's all they do. So, I mean, um, it, must, it just it must have been some kind of fluke, something happened with yours. Yeah, because my son, he's allergic to air, and he's been up shitting all night. He's had a real bad reaction. Well, I apologize, sir, but, I mean, yeah, I can, like I said, what I can do is just take your name down, and then we can replace those for you next time you come in. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that, because we come in there all the time. Listen, did, did you guys take care of the roach problem in here? I mean, they had, like, the pest control here recently, but, mm -hmm. I mean, they just keep popping up. I mean, this okay. store's about to close down, too, any few, within the next, like, couple months. Oh, okay, because I had one crawl up my pant leg, and uh, I went to use the bathroom when I got home, and there was a, a brooch on my dick. Well, I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, me too. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I'll come on in there, and uh, we'll get the uh, the waffle. Uh, just write down uh, Hank. How you doing? What did you say your name was? How you doing? This is Ryan. I'm calling from How you doing this morning? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Oh, not too bad. Listen, I talked to Jim. He's your owner, correct? Ma'am? I mean, sir. Yes, I talked to Jim. He's your owner, correct? Uh, I don't even know who Jim is. Oh, Jim is your current owner. Oh. Uh, and I contacted him about an issue with uh, complaints. Uh, uh -huh. about, about the quality of your sausages. Yes, sir. And uh, he told me just to go ahead and give you guys a call, and we could do a quick quality control check over the phone. Okay. Uh, the manager will have to do that. Uh, well, no. Uh, Jim, okay. he's he's the owner. He actually gave me permission to contact okay. the employee on duty. He said it wouldn't be this busy uh, at this time. So he said just go ahead and give a call, and uh, we could do a quality check real quick. Okay. So what do I do? What do I need to do? Um, you have the. Uh, I need two of your link patties, uh, fully cooked, uh, so we can do a quality control. Okay, so just cook two, like an order, a full order. Yeah, yeah, just just two. Okay, hold on, let me ask my grill off first. All right, I'll wait right here. Okay. We're getting it on there. Okay, yeah, I'll just go ahead and wait uh, while you're getting that around. And uh, I just got some paperwork to fill out here to uh, actually file to let them know that we looked into it. Some customers had complained uh, about some uh, okay. about the it actually being dry and being uh, some air pockets inside of the sausage. And I didn't okay. think that was correct, but we do have to do a quality check. Okay. Okay. How, how close do you want it done? As close as possible? Yeah, like you would make it for a customer. Okay. Okay, it looks pretty done right okay. now. All right, fantastic. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the float test real quick. Uh, okay. We'll do, we'll do that first. Uh, how many did he cook up? Just two? I just cooked a, a serving. Okay. Or one order. One order. I need you to go ahead and uh, take one. And what we're going to do is we have to do a float test, but we cannot do it in the kitchen because the kitchen water is actually treated. Okay. Uh, and it won't allow us to do the float test properly. Okay. So what I have to have you do is grab one of the uh, sausages, and I'm going to okay. have you go to the ladies' restroom. And what I'll have you do, uh, because I don't want you picking it up afterwards, I'm going to have you drop it in the toilet, and I want you to tell me if it sinks or floats. Okay. Hold on just a second. I'm here. What now? Yeah, is this a cordless phone? Is this the corporate phone? A cordless phone. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just sending my other white staff to there to drop it. Just okay. Go and drop it and tell me if it floats or sinks. What? It floated. Did he flush it? Oh, it floats. That, okay. That's, that's good. That means it's quality okay, it product. Okay, floated. Yeah, it's a good quality product. Okay. Um, now, do you have the other one right there? Okay. Yes, I only took one. Okay. Uh, do you have, I'm looking for a flat surface. Um, it's probably going to require like a, a, a window. Do you know, do you have a window that's out of the way that's not going to be, you know, a customer's not going to, you know, look and say, what what the no, hell is that I person doing? I have on both sides of my store and right. I have windows out of the way around. Do you have one that's away from a customer? 
Mm, just one shot here in front of me. Okay. What I need you to do, because we're going to test the moisture content, and I'm going to have to have a measurement of the grease mark that it actually leaves. So what I need is for you to stand approximately three feet away from that window and throw uh -huh. throw the sausage against the window at half speed. Don't do it full speed because it's going to skew the test. Okay, don't okay, do not do what now? Don't throw it at full speed. Give it like 75%. Throw it against the window, and then I need you to tell me how big of a grease mark it left on the window. Why can't I just throw it against the stainless steel cooler? Because it's not going to leave a, a prop, because it runs different when it's on a steel cooler that it's going to run. When it's done on a window, it's actually going to stick and leave an indent mark. And then it's easily to wipe away. Dakota, bring me that other piece of sausage. I think this is You want to throw it against the window. You want to throw it against the window. And does anybody. So, uh, does not throw that. Full speed. Uh, Do not. Tell them about 75%. Okay, it made a mark. It didn't slide down the window. Though. Okay, how much would you, like, how big would it say? What'd you say it is? Almost around the whole piece. Something like, you know, is it like a quarter, a silver dollar, something well, Maybe like a silver dollar, maybe a little more. Okay. And uh, does anybody have a camera phone uh, that we can uh, have yes. a picture of and you can send uh, it to us? Yeah, hold on. Go, let me get a minute take a picture of it. Take a picture, one of the sausage, uh, or actually of the window, and then if somebody could hold a, hold the sausage up next to the stain, snap a second picture, and then send it to us for analysis. Okay. And then I'll give you an email to send that to you. You, you got a camera in front of us. You take a picture of that with the sausage up against it. You got to hold the sausage up there, too. It's it's so we have a um, a unit of measurement. Okay. So we can compare them. Don't put it on the spot. Right Hold next, it next to, it. to the spot yeah, to right show. Right next to it. You're fantastic. You know what's going on. Okay. Where does he send it to? Okay. Uh, we're gonna have you send it to. Do you have something to write with? Yes, I do. Right oh, here in front of me. Okay. It is. I'm t we're gonna we're just gonna send it to you. Okay. Go ahead and send it, okay. and uh, I'll give you a call back. Have they been sent? Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Hey, this is uh, Roger calling back. Uh-huh. Uh, we got the pictures. Okay. Um, and they, they're looking good. Uh, but I just actually got on my desk after I was submitting the photos. Uh, there was also a question of uh, salmonella content of the eggs. Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, I said very good job uh, on the test. I got the pictures. Uh, they approved the pictures that were taken. Uh, okay. But I did look into the system, and there was one more thing I was supposed to address with you. Uh-huh. Uh, and apparently someone had gotten sick over a uh, batch of eggs that were cooked. Uh -huh. And so I have to perform a freshness test on the eggs. Okay, and how do we do that? Uh, again, it has to be uh, the water test, but it's, again... It's yeah, you drop it with all egg in the water, see if it sinks or floats. Right, but it needs right. to be it needs to be cracked uh, because if it is bad, it's going to go ahead and sink, and if it's all right, it's going to float. Uh, and if we have a possible salmonella infection, they're going to separate the yolk the yolk from the whites. The whites uh -huh. will sink. The yolk will float. So I crack the egg in warm water, cold water, or what? Uh, toilet water. Just okay. Right, same thing like the sausage. Okay, let me get that. I'll do that right now, okay? Okay, I'll hold it for you. Okay, it didn't separate. It dropped all the way to the bottom. Okay. Um, what, uh, I forgot to tell you, you were you kind of rushed off there. I need to do. Oh, sorry. I need to do. Uh, I need to do four instances. I need two of them cracked. Um, and I need them showing at the same time. And then okay, what you, you need do four it, cups of water with two cracked. Well, in the, in the in the toilet water is what I said. What now? The, like the, how we did the sausage in the water in the toilet. Okay. I have then to have you, I have to have two cracked and put into the toilet at the same time uh -huh. to, to show if they separated, stayed together, or are floating. I need a picture of that. I then need you to flush that. Then you will take two eggs, 
uh, in their shells, place them in the toilet at the same time, and tell me if they float or not, and a picture of that sent to the same address. Okay, hold on. Just and I'll, and I'll wait right here for you. I know it's going to take a few seconds, so we need four eggs total. Okay. Mm-hmm. I hope to God we don't have to pull these eggs tonight. Hello? Yes, hello. Okay, now the pictures are sent. Okay. Those, those are sent. Uh, what was the report on what happened? Hold on, let me find, let me find it. Hold on just a second. Where y'all like that? Where did he go? Okay, I can't find my grill up. I'm waiting on him to come back in. Okay. Because um, I, I do need one more uh, one more test to do, but okay. I'll, I'll wait on his report on the eggs because um, I need to know what they did in order to determine if our eggs are still good, if I can continue to sell them tonight. Okay. So, uh, But you can let him know, is there another man on the grill? Uh, nope, he's the only one I have tonight. He's the only one, okay. Um, so yeah, what we'll need to do is, um... You want to give me about 10 minutes and call me back? And, yeah, yeah. And I can talk to him? Yep, I'll, uh, wait about 10 minutes, uh, so I call back and get the report. Um, and then, uh, I have one more, uh, thing that I need to do after I get the report. And we'll be okay. done for the night. Okay. All right, thank you. Uh-huh. Uh, bye-bye. Bye. No, I'm getting them to put a whole fucking meal in that toilet. You fucking just watch. How you doing? This is Roger. I was calling back uh-huh. for the report. He said they sank. They sunk? Uh-huh. Okay. No, that's fine. Uh, everything, if they sunk, then that's uh, acceptable. If they started to float, then we were going to have an issue. Okay. Um, but the the last thing that I have to uh, address with you, it's not about the food. Uh, it's actually about the plumbing in the uh, men's room. Uh-huh. Uh, apparently, a customer today uh, made contact and said that uh, he was performing uh, duties in there after he had uh, ate and had a coffee. And he said the toilet system uh, couldn't handle uh, the load that was put in there, and the system backed up on him. Uh-huh. And it ended up running all over his suit. And okay. uh, he's friends with the governor. And uh-huh. so, you know, he put in a call. The governor put in a call. So now I have to address this. Okay. Uh, so what I need to do is I have to simulate, uh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, simu- simulate uh, what he did in the bathroom. So what I need you to prepare is basically a meal consisting of one waffle. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. Yep. I'm sorry. Uh, one waffle. Uh-huh. One hash brown. One waffle, one hash brown. One sausage. Uh-huh, one sausage. One egg. And one egg. I need you to prepare this. It needs to be placed again in the toilet because I have to simulate what he was doing in the restroom. And I need that flushed. And I need a report if it went down smoothly or if it needed to be plunged afterwards. Okay, well, I'll do it. But, I mean, I'm just not going to... I mean, I, I've never had this done, and I've been with Walker House since 04. Mm-hmm. So, it's just not... Well, these are the standard operating procedures. These were actually just instituted uh, back in 2013. Uh, You've never had this type of issue come up before uh, when it comes to the plumbing or uh, it basically is the septic issue because when it backs up and there's uh, basically it's wastewater and when it backs up and it gets on people, Mm -hmm. we actually face lawsuits because we are not taking care of our plumbing issues. Mm-hmm. And this guy, like I said, he's a friend of the governor, so he's a very important man. You know, if it was Joe Schmo, the garbage man, it wouldn't be up on the priority list. Okay. Well, let me get this stuff cooked, and I'll go do it. Okay. And okay. like I said, I need pictures before. Okay. The, the, everything's in there. Pictures mm-hmm. after, after it's been flushed. Uh-huh. And from the pictures, I should be able to tell if it went down or if you, it needed to be plunged. Okay. How uh, how much time do you need before I call back and verify? Give me verify? about 20, 25 minutes. 20, 25? Could uh-huh. you make it about 15? Yes, I, I'll do my best. 15. I'll call you back uh-huh. in 15. Okay. All right. Okay. 
How you doing? This is Roger calling back. Okay, we're getting ready to go do it. Okay. All right, I'll hang on hold here with you. Okay. And uh, just let me know when he's uh, heading back there. Okay. If he just wants to lay it kind of neat, if he wants to put the waffle down first and then stack the other stuff on well, top. Well, what I did, I you. chopped it all together, to simulate it all coming out. Right. So it would not clog up our system. So if, it, if this, so I chopped it all up in a plate. So okay. I can take a picture of the plate, take a picture of it once he drops it in there, then take a picture of it after he flushes. it. Fantastic. What did you do? And then, yeah. Uh-huh. And send it to that email. Huh? Okay. Yeah. So you took one before you flushed it and after? Okay. Okay, he's sending both of them now. Okay, I'll just hang out the phone and just let me know when uh, the pictures okay. are sent. Alrighty, it looks like we got all the pictures here. Okay. All right, we're all set. Uh, and uh, I want to go ahead and tell you guys good job, and you have yourselves a great rest of the night. All right, thank you. You too. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. May I help you? Hi, honey. I was there a couple of hours ago. And I ordered some waffles, but when I cut into the waffles, there was a serious absence of of a waffle inside the waffle. I, I don't know what? if you, there was there was absence of waffle batter in the waffle. So I, I okay. don't know if it's like something. It looked like it was inflated with air, like a like a you know to excess. You know, like the Hindenburg of waffles. Uh huh. What can I do for you? I was just wondering if it's normal. I mean, when I cut into it, it deflated. I've never seen a waffle deflate like that. I, I thought they, you know, they're supposed to be fluffy. Hey. What? This guy said he came in um earlier and ordered a waffle. He said when he cut into it, it deflated. Arnold, how can I help you? Hi, good evening, or, or good morning, rather. Uh, my name is Richard Slam. I'm calling from the corporate office of... How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I, I'm doing all right. Uh, listen, I had called and uh, spoke to your owner, uh, Mr. I, be- I believe I'm saying his last name right. Um, we had expressed some concerns about some counterfeit bills that uh, have been found at your location. Uh, are you aware of this at all? No, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, what we're doing is, after I talked to uh he wanted me to do a spot check on uh, one or two of the $1 bills, because uh, those seem to be the ones that we're getting back currently that are counterfeited, and we need to do a check on them real quick. Uh, do you have someone that may assist me? Sure, just one second. Okay. This is Val. How may I help you? Hi, Val. This is Richard Slam calling from the corporate headquarters of... Uh, as I explained to the other young lady, I had talked to, uh, he's your owner, correct? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, what we had, uh, discussed was we are actually been getting some, uh, counterfeit $1 bills, uh, in large amounts recently from your location, and we're trying to narrow down what time of the day we're actually getting, uh, those bills from. And okay. so what said was for me to go ahead and give you guys a call, and we're going to do a quick spot check on, uh, Two of the one dollar bills uh to okay. check if they are uh actually real or if they're counterfeit okay not a problem all right uh if you want to go ahead and grab just uh two one dollar bills uh what i would prefer you do is to grab uh in different areas maybe one towards the bottom one towards the top of the till not a problem mm-hmm. one from the top mm-hmm. and one from about halfway down. Half, that what- halfway or the bottom, that's that's better. Okay. Just just so they're separate. Not uh okay. they're not right on top of each other. Okay, what we're gonna do is um 
if you want to just set them right there on the counter there. What I need to do, do you have a pencil uh, handy? Uh, I do not have a pencil. No, no pencil? Okay, no, that's fine. Uh, what I need to do, um, let me have you rub your thumb back and forth uh, on the bill for a 30-second uh, count and uh, let me know if any of the ink seems to be rubbing off or fading. We're trying to heat it up with the friction from your fingers uh, to see if this is uh, uh, possibly, you know, they use the alternative inks when they go and counterfeit this type of stuff. No, no ink coming off okay. of either bill. All right. I think what we're having an issue with is the we're just not getting enough friction. We're not making it hot enough. Okay. Uh, so what I need to do... Um, uh, do, is there any food currently on the flat top grill? On the what? I'm sorry. The on flat, the flat top. The flat top. Um. Yes. Okay. Um. Uh, is there any way he can clear just a small area? What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to place those on the flat top grill, and then put a little oil so we can get them heated up enough, and then we're going to leave okay. them on there for approximately a minute. Okay. Already, there the small grill is a is the small grill on. The small grill's on. I can that's clear. Okay, fantastic. And, <clears throat> excuse me, got a little bit of a cold. Uh, okay. Does anybody have one of those uh, smartphones where we could possibly document this so we can uh, have the photos emailed back here that we've done the spot check? Yes. Okay, fantastic. Um, if you would just on the uh, counter itself right now, are you going to use your phone or is it you going to use someone else's? I'm gonna use a uh, phone because mine. <clears throat> not okay. Able to use the network at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Just have her take a picture. Just lay the bills uh, side by side on the uh, counter okay. right there. Uh, snap a picture. Can you snap a picture of these for him? <laughs> Before we do the test. Right, yeah, we got to do it step by step. We got to have the photos. Okay. Okay, we have a picture of them now. Okay, and what we're going to do is I'll, I'll lay out the sequence for you. Once it's pl they're okay. placed on the grill side by side, I need picture. Okay. I need a picture showing that they're on the grill. Okay. Uh, and then once you put the oil on, I need a picture yeah. of that. And what we're going to do, it's okay. going to be one minute. We're going to do 30 seconds on one side, then they need to be flipped. I need a, a picture once they've been flipped or in the process of flipping. Okay. And then you need to apply more oil once they've been flipped. And then we'll okay. do another 30 seconds. I need a picture. And then uh, that should conclude uh, our test there once I get a report of what the reaction was on them. All righty. If you'll just hang on just a minute, I'll, I'll get wait. that going. Yep, I'll wait right here. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Okay. You still there? Yes. All right. We so got the pictures. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> was there any fading or discoloration uh, once the uh, the bills were heated up? Uh, one of them turned a slight shade of brown, but okay. I think that may have been from the grill. Yeah, yeah, it may be. That that's a uh, appropriate reaction. Um, <clears throat> and um, let me have you just stamp a, another set of pictures. Uh, for me, okay. just just front and back of each bill, uh, and if you want to just set them individually. Side, well, no, if you want to set them side by side and just do front okay. and backs, and uh, then I'm going to give you uh, an email address to send them to, and uh, we'll go ahead and conclude that. And you can actually uh, just let those bills cool down. You can put them back in the till. Okay. All right. So I'll wait right here. I. Because we're going to have our team analyze. Was them. working as you were talking. All right. So we have the final pictures. Okay. And uh, do you have a pen right there? And I'll give you the email address to send those. All right. All right. The email address is... And uh, if you want to go ahead and send those out, uh, I'll give you a call back in uh, about 10 minutes just to confirm that we have received them. Okay. All right. I appreciate your help. You did a fantastic job. Not a problem. All right. Thank you. Thank uh -huh. you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you for calling Arnold. This is how may I help you? Hi.
Uh, this is Richard Slam. I'd called from the corporate office earlier tonight, and I had a young lady assist me. That was uh, me. That was you? Okay. Um, I did get the pictures, uh, okay. and I wanted to thank you for that. And uh, they actually just notified me that I forgot to have you write uh, the actual code on the bills so they know uh, what case to associate this with. Okay. Uh, do you still have the, the bills? Yeah, we put them oh. back in the drawer. Like Okay, fantastic. Um, if you want to just pull those out real quick, I'll just need uh, one more picture uh, of the bills okay. side by side. Um, do you have a, uh, let's see here. Do you have a Sharpie, something that'll show up? Because a pen probably isn't going to show up very well. Um, do we have a... I'm sure we do. A, a Sharpie or a, a black marker or something. What do you need? A Sharpie. A black marker or something so we can write on these. Take one more picture. Uh, I'm going to grab one. Fantastic. Thank you. Not a problem. <laughs> Um, All righty, we have a marker and we have the bills now. Okay, and I need you to write it rather largely, uh, just okay. so that the, when we take the pictures, we're able to actually read it. Uh, you'll have to write this okay. on on both of them. Uh, the uh, no, the code, the case number you're going to write on there is uh, the the pound symbol or or the hash, uh, yeah. as, as people know it. Um, S is in Sam. P is in Paul. The number three, R is in Randy. Oh, unfortunately, because of the oil, nothing is writing on these. Okay, um, can you uh, possibly get a piece of paper uh, that you could oh, yeah. uh, put them on, and then we'll put the code right above those. Okay. We can do a paper. Okay. Oh, oh well, as long as we can see it on there. Okay, we found one that will work. Oh, okay, fantastic. Hashtag. Yep, and then S is in Sam. P. S. Uh huh. P is in Paul. Oh, P. Yep. Okay. The number three. Okay. R is in Randy. M is in Michael. And that'll need okay. to be that'll that's the end of the code. It'll need to be on both bills. And if you want to take a picture and send it to the same uh, address, uh, then, then you can put those back in the uh, in the drawer, and we'll be all set. Alrighty, sounds all right. good. We'll be we'll be waiting on that, and I'll give you a call just to uh, confirm that we got it. Alrighty. All right. Have a good night. You as well. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you for calling, Matt. How can I help you? How you doing? You say your name was Matt? Yeah. How you doing, Matt? This is Dwight calling from the corporate office. How are you doing this morning? Good. How you doing? Good. Uh, I had talked to earlier. I believe she's your office manager. I honestly don't know who the office manager is. Oh, okay. Uh, listen, did you guys flush the oil and do a uh, oil cleansing, change the oil so everything is tasting fine now? Um, honestly, I don't know. The best bet would be to call it, uh, around seven in the morning when the manager is here. Cause I, I've, I've been off a couple of days. And I don't okay. know if it's been so, done. So what's going on is we've had a complaint about the batter, uh, okay. the way, the consistency of the waffles. Uh huh. Um, so what I need to do is, uh, actually have you make up a couple waffles real quick and we're going to have to do a quick test to check, uh, check the consistency uh, and the moisture content of the waffles. Okay. So if you can go ahead and uh, have the cook uh, prepare up two waffles, please, and uh, I will guide you further. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm the cook, so i got to put the phone down. Oh, no problem. I'll wait right here. Just go ahead and uh, prepare a couple waffles. Hello, this is Christy speaking. How are you doing, Christy? This is Dwight I'm good. from the corporate office. Hi. Hi. What can I help you with? Well, I was calling uh, regarding some instructions. I had talked to earlier. She's your office manager, correct? No, our office manager is... Was well, this change made? Because I did talk to earlier. She said she was your office manager. Because our unit manager is... Okay, yeah, I talked to a who is 
uh, at some capacity, a manager of this location. Do you know what store she's at? Uh, yes, it is the uh, store on... That is the store, but our manager is... And our district is... Okay. Now, it must be uh, must be an office person under... Uh, what we were calling about is a couple of complaints about the density and the moisture content of the waffle batter. And what we're doing is we're doing a quality check tonight. Uh, okay. I was having uh, Matt go ahead and prepare two waffles, and we were going to do a quick quality check over the phone to make sure everything is coming out as it should. Okay. So he put the phone down uh, while he went to prepare that. He, he informed me that he was the cook on duty. Yes, sir. Okay, so if okay. he wants to just go ahead and do that, and uh, as soon as he's done, he can come to the phone. We'll run through a few quick steps, and uh, we'll let you guys get back to business. Okay, thank you. Hold on just a few minutes. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm back. All right, you got two waffles prepared? Yep. Okay, did you put them on a plate, or are you just handling them without one? I have them on a plate. Okay, uh, on the first one, we're going to do these two independently. Uh, on the first one, I need you to tear it in half and take a look and see if there's any large air pockets inside of the waffle when you look at the look at it in the side view. It looks fine to me. Okay, so no large air pockets or large voids in the uh, waffle? No. Okay, because the customers are complaining they thought they were being cheated where they were getting excessive air. Um, so we want the waffles to be dense. Um so they get what they pay for. Yeah. Okay. So you can go ahead and discard that one. That one seems acceptable. And uh, let's see here. Do you have um, one of our syrup pours? Uh, because we do need to now check the um, the way the waffle absorbs. Uh, yeah. Well, one second. Okay. All right. All right. Pour uh, approximately... Oh, like a half dollar uh, size portion right in the center there uh, so we could perform the sponge test. Okay. And let me know when that's complete. It's done. Okay. Now, is that continue to spread and sink into the waffle or is it staying on top? It's spreading and soaking in. Okay. Um, now let me have you, because we've got to test the weight after it soaks in. Can you flip that in the air like you're flipping a quarter uh, as high as you can and see uh, where it lands? Like, what do you mean where it lands? Like, I... Well, we, do, we have to see if it's going to land on the syrup side or on the dry side, uh, a part of the sponge test. Like if you're flipping a quarter, just flip it in the air, let it go. If it lands on the floor, you can clean it up later. It's not a big deal. <laughs> it landed uh, syrup side up. Syrup side up. All right. Well, that concludes the testing for today. Uh, test results come back. You are a fucking dumbass. And you're working where you should be working. At the You have yourself a good night. And you can go kill yourself.